Welcome back to Mr. Herman's math page. Today we're going to be adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers with different denominators. We're going to just do a few problems today for practice. So try to follow along the best you can. You can use your separate sheet of paper and uh, write things, things down along with me. I wouldn't just suggest watching it. It's probably good to write them down too. Well, this first one, we've got two different denominators. We've got 3 and 8. 3 and 8 are relatively prime. We talked about that in class. That means they share no common factors. If they share no common factors, then I can take them and just multiply them together. So to get a common denominator for these two numbers, I'm just going to multiply them together like this. 3 times 8 is 24. Now I write down my little template underneath. New denominators, right? And my plus sign, copied from above here. Now I say, well, well I've got to make my fractions equivalent. So 8 times what is 24? And that's 3. And that gives me 21. Over here, I've got 3 times what is 24. That's multiplied by 2 by the same thing. So that's by 8. So that makes 16. Now I can add them because they have the same denominator. And 16 plus 21 is 37. What 37 24 it's, Remember, you don't add the bottom. 37 24 is improper. So I take 37 and divide it by 24. It goes in one time with 13 left over. So my mixed number is 1 and 13 24 ths. That's my final answer to this equals. Let's try another one. This time we're going to be adding two mixed numbers. Some people like to make these improper, but I think it just adds more work. And it isn't necessary, so why should we do it, right? Don't need to multiply them out and do that. So instead, look at 9 and 4 again. 9 and 4 are relatively prime. 9 is 3 times 3. 4 is 2 times 2. There are no shared factors. Since there's no shared factors, we can multiply them together and get 36. So I'm going to put like a little template down here, copying everything down. Oops, I forgot my 2. Sorry. There we go. 2. And again here, I have to multiply by 4 to get 36. The top has to also be multiplied by 4. Times 9, and I get 9. So I take 7 plus 2 and get 9. Add 4 and 9 and get 13. 13 is prime and does not go into 36. Therefore, that is in lowest terms, and it is done. And my final answer. Let's try one more. This one's a little bit harder. You could do this multiple ways. My suggestion, though, is probably just to, be to go left to right and start adding these first two first. These first two have very similar denominators. Now, they're not relatively prime, like the last few times. In this case, 8 and 16 share a common factor of 8. So what I would do here is I just multiply this by 2 to get it to be 16. So now I'd have 3 sixteenths plus 10 sixteenths. And that gives me 13 sixteenths. Now i got to take and subtract from there minus 2 and 3 fourths. So I need common denominators here. So I'm going to make this 16 because 4 wasn't the 16. So times 4 and times 4. So I have 13 sixteenths minus 2 and 12 sixteenths. Now we run into a problem. You really can't take something smaller and spread something bigger. It's kind of like if I have like 1 minus 3. You can't really do that. Well, it is. It's negative 2, but I mean it's going to be negative. In our heads, what we're actually doing is taking 3 minus 1 and just making it negative 2. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take the bigger one over here, this 2. I'm going to slide over to the left side. Now we're running out of space here. And do 2 and 12 sixteenths minus 13 sixteenths. But I'm going to make the answer negative when I'm done because this is bigger. Since it's bigger, the answer is negative just like here where this was bigger, too. So, once again, I can't subtract because you can't do 12 minus 13. So what I can do instead is I can borrow from the 2 and make that a 1, then add 16 sixteenths to this here because that's the 1 I'm taking away. That's going to be 28 sixteenths. I'm going to make a video on this to follow up where I show several examples of this process right here where we're borrowing, and I'll even call it either borrowing or regrouping with subtracting mixed numbers. That should be coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that one, too. Leave this one the same. So now I'll do 1 minus, well, nothing, 1 minus 0 is 1. 28 minus 13 is 15. And so our final answer is, can't quite get it down, there we go, is 1 and 15 sixteenths. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to Mr. Herman's Math page for more videos.